Oh, they're barking over there. What are you barking at, boys? Oh. Uh, what was that? and welcome to another indie horror game today i'm going to be playing a game that Nobody. looks like was inspired by one of my favorite horror movies Nobody which is called the thing that premise alone was enough to sell me on the game i've kept myself pretty much entirely in the dark about anything else about the game that's how much i like that movie if you haven't seen the thing make sure you see it it's one of the best but considering it's inspired by the thing i believe we play as a character who's at some sort of maybe research facility in the Arctic and they uncover something horrifying in the ice. And it may or may not be the end of us. Let's find out. In 2015, a team of scientists from the Arctic station Zarya took ice samples for research from a depth of two kilometers. Just as they were about to return to base, a severe snowstorm began. Do we really need subtitles for that? Once they reached the base, they went down to the old bunker as security protocol instructed them to do. I guess that's where we begin. All right, and Welcome to the bunker. Okay. First impressions, it looks cool. Did I spawn in a corner? No, I came from here. Oh, oh, very nice. Wow, there's my flashlight. I guess I shouldn't take that, nor take the lamp. No. I do like the look of it. This looks cool. We'll go, yeah. No, I can't read that. Okay, nice detail. So we got a heater there because it's probably cold. Maybe we'll come back for that flashlight. I don't know. Did the chains move if I hit them? Ah, yeah. yeah, they do. Okay. Certainly very cool. What's in here? Nice. Oh, jeez. Hey. What's up, dude? Hey. Hey? Whoa. Listen, remind me why we work in this godforsaken abandoned hole. Are you talking about the Arctic or this Cold War bunker? About the bunker, you stupid. It's so creepy here at times. Yes, it's scary for me here too. And regarding your question, you remember that strong storm that started and we had to come down here? Plus, it's good that there's an old laboratory down here. That way we didn't have to move the equipment from the station. Oh yes, I remember. The question was rhetorical. God, in two years with us, you still haven't learned to understand jokes, Victor? Well, I'm sorry. I'm kidding. About, okay. What about those samples that we found? You'd better ask our microbiologist about that. All right. Fine. Be a bitch. I'm taking your flashlight. Oh. I guess I can't. All right, what's... This your room? What's your name, Lucas? Victor, I don't know. You're gonna die for sure. I'll make sure of it, Lucas. Oh, you got... Dude, you just leave your fridge open? 
up at that? This guy deserves to die. Wasting electricity. I like how there's heaters everywhere. That makes sense. An open can of food. We're not efficient at all. It's over here. Oh, hello, darling. Oh, it's the laboratory. Hello. Hello, Maya. How you doing? Oh. It's good that there's equipment here, and we can properly study the samples. Ah, uh, yes. That's what I'm asking. Well, what do you think? What did we find? I'm not exactly sure yet, but it looks like some kind of microorganism. Oh, interesting. What do you mean by microorganism? I'm a dumb, uh... I'm dumb. Looks like we found what we were looking for, Thomas. We need to examine these samples to understand exactly what they are. Let's observe further. Oh, okay. I'll go contact Zvezda Station. Storm should have reached them by uh, Excuse me. The storm should have reached them by now. I'll find out if they went down to the shelter. All right. I like your hair. Very nice hair. Oh, is the keys? Do I need those? No. I need nothing. Right. Okay, so they... Oh, I should contact the Zvezda station to see how they're doing. Are they the ones that went out to look for the sample or whatever? Am I supposed to read that? What is this? Power station, I guess. I check this other door. Oh. Oh my. What is this? Okay. This is where we put the bad apples, eh? That's where Lucas is going. This is the door to the basement. I don't need to go there. All right. What about this door? Nope. Must be over here. Pretty relaxing music. Just stuff everywhere. Lights flickering a bit in it. What is this? I'm yeah, looking for the radio. How do I get past this fence? Oh, here. Here we go. Zvezda Station. Zarya is calling. Can you hear me? Noise. Hmm. I repeat, Zvezda Station. Zarya is calling. Can you hear I can hear you, Zarya. Ah. How are you doing there? Did you manage to go down to the shelter? Over. Yeah. We're here. We're doing fine. Only our newcomer turns out to be claustrophobic. He doesn't seem to be doing too well with this tight quarters. Who even sent him down here? Damn scientist. I say, well, I heard that someone from the government insisted on his transfer to the station. Well, of course they did. By the way, Miles said you guys found something interesting. I don't know yet whether this is interesting. She's trying to find out what we found. Okay, keep us posted. We'll continue to explore that rock we came across yesterday. Ooh. And you keep us informed, over. Okay. Over. A rock you found, eh? Is it a nice rock? What do we do now? 
Let's explore, how about? We got doggies. Hello, doggies. They look nice. Say hello to the dogs. Oh. Hello. You guys have no food or water. That's not good. Holy. I wonder why you're waiting by the bowls. Uh, maybe someone else will feed them. I don't know. Doesn't look like I can. Fuck. Right, let's go back to talk to... What's her name? Diane or something? I don't know. Oh, it's over here. Oh. Spooky unorganized closet. Cool. We're definitely not the most organized bunch, are we? Oh, hey guys. What's happening? Can I, can I be a part of this? Hello? Guys? Lucas, Diane, are you guys, are you guys talking about something? Are you talking about me? What's going on? What do we do? Oh, pour some tea in the kitchen. Oh, oh, of course. Where's the kitchen? Is this the kitchen? With the open fridge? Oh, I need to pour some tea and rest a bit. All right. Damn it, Victor! Why the hell are you creeping up? I almost poured boiling water on you. Dot dot dot. Your problem, Sorry, asshole. Thomas. Maya's calling you. She says wow. she's discovered something. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to watch you get eaten alive, Lucas. Victor, whatever. He looks like a Lucas to me. All right, Maya. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Thomas. What's up, Maya? You just won't believe it. And you better put that mug on the table. Take a look at this. Only if you blink first. No. What is it? Oh. Oh, I'm taking a real close look. So close I can see the microorganism. Oh. What the f You gonna tell me what the hell that was? What did I just see? You just saw an ancient organism awakening after being frozen in ice for thousands of years. Alright, that is pretty cool. I don't know. We need to report this as soon as possible and get down to research. You have everything? Not quite everything that is needed, hmm. but there is. We need to somehow send a sample to our guys from the Institute. Okay. You keep researching, I'll go take a rest. I guess. Oh, fucking hell, Lucas! I just dumped this all over you, Jesus Christ. Why is he right behind me? Contact the Hawaiian Institute of Microbiology. Tell them what we found. Maya, describe everything in them to detail. Congratulations, guys. Great job. I'm going to take a little rest. Maybe by then the storm will be over. And then I'll think about burning Lucas alive. And send some samples to Hawaii. I need to read a book on the sofa with my mug of tea. Hmm. I thought it highlights it in case you're a dum-dum. This is a sofa. Thanks. Couldn't have found that without you. What? What was that? Lucas? What faffing about? Over here. What's that? 
What are these sounds? Diana? I guess her name's Maya. I don't know. I want to call her Diana. What's going on? Maya? Victor? Are you here? It's coming from over here. What the f What are you guys always sneaking off for? Stupid piece of What's happened? Have you contacted Hawaii? They didn't get in touch. Damn radio doesn't even work anymore. Just oh. static. Oh, because of all this the storm. Yeah, most likely. Or maybe it's because it's a Cold War bunker and all the equipment is older than we are. Yeah, okay, I'll try to fix this. You can do something else. Hmm. That was a false alarm creepy thing, I guess. Did I fix it? I guess not. Check what the sounds are. What sound? I don't hear anything. Dogs, you okay with your no food and no water? Good, yeah. I'm not hearing any more sounds. Wait. Oh. I haven't been in the bathroom yet. Cool. Not a very cool and stylish place. Oh, dog food. Can we get dog food? They desperately need food and water. Look at all. We got all this dog food and we're not going to give it to them. Wow. We deserve our fate. We deserve death. Dogs, have you... How are you guys doing? Everything fine? Are you bored? Hungry? <laughs> of course, it's boring here. We give them food. Oh, your bowls are empty. You guys don't eat, right? I'll bring it out. Oh, finally. Finally, we notice. I don't know where my friends are, but, uh... Yeah. Alright, wow. Four... Bowls? Boom. There you go. Bon appetit. I hope they don't die. Soon the storm will end and we'll all come out here together. We'll breathe fresh arctic air. We'll play in the snow again. Be patient. Just a little longer. Right. Bring the dogs some food and feed them. Did it? What do we do now? Oh, did I leave this open? Creepy in there. Hey, she's back. Oh, Jesus. I'll go pour myself a cup of tea and then talk to Maya. Okay. I really like my tea. Don't talk to me, Lucas. Well, oh, God. What are you going to do? I'll rest a bit and then continue fixing the radio. That's not what I'm talking about. Oh. The radio works. Oh? It's just that the signal can't get through because of the storm. I'm talking about you and Maya. No. Oh, what do you mean? Come on. I can see the way you look at her. Don't make this up, Vic. We're scientists. And we don't have time for office romances. Dot, dot, dot. Well, okay, I like her. So what? Well, why are you waiting? Life is too short. I once missed my chance with a beauty from the Institute. Hmm. Why did you miss it? When we get home, you can catch up. Nope. It was a very long time ago. I see. She worked with me on a project. We seemed to get along. Then I asked her out and we had a good time. What happened next? Nothing. I was sent to Cronenheim Station. And then here. So three years have passed. Hmm. 
The work got in the yeah. way. Mm. Why am I telling you this? Because you work together and for a long time. For you, work is not a hindrance, but rather a connecting link. So go to her and talk about something. We've been stuck in this bunker for God knows how long. Damn romance. Okay, Victor, you are right. Life is too short. I'll go check with her to see how the work on the samples is going. Maybe we can talk about something else. Perhaps Star Wars or Lord of the Rings. I'll ask her what her favorite Lord of the Rings character is. And if she says Legolas, that's it. Yeah, yes. Find out from her how things are going with the samples. And don't right? forget to ask her to examine your sample. <laughs> oh, what a joke, Vic, you dirty boy. Yeah, yeah, I was already told about this. All right, don't be upset about that girl. Don't be a little bitch. She's also a scientist. She understands everything. If everything went well for you, then maybe she's waiting for you as well, but unlikely. You seem like a grown man. You are so naive, Thomas. Go already. Find out about the samples. Well, wow. those samples? Samples? In your pants? Wow. It's coming. Lucas. Your death. Oh, so we're not getting tea. Okay. Right, I have a confession done. Oh, you're ready. Hey, I Thomas. love you Star Wars. Believe it. And Lord of the Rings as well. Who is your favorite Lord of the Rings character? There is a wrong answer to this question. I discovered something interesting here. Oh. These organisms respond to light. Oh. How's that? I did a little experiment. I shined a laser on them and they seemed to go into hibernation. Oh. Activity dropped sharply. But when I turned off the laser, activity was restored. After I noticed this, I decided to try placing them in an airtight box that didn't let any light in. And you know what? What? They've multiplied. Oh, she? Yes, can you imagine? I kept the box in the dark just for a minute, and they doubled in number. How is this possible? So they reproduce in the dark? It looks like it. And I noticed something else. Oh? When I conducted an experiment with light, I dimmed the lights in the room and began to observe. I saw the most active of them seem to devour the weak and less active and become larger in size. Oh, cramp. Let me try to explain. Imagine if wolves would eat old or sick wolves from their pack and then become bigger, more active, and stronger than before. Urge the weak. Okay, so they're basically Spartans. This is Sparta! That's right. And to be honest, it scares me a little. Well, I did enjoy the movie 300. That's for sure. I'm tired as a dog. You as well, huh? Tired as a dog? Yeah. I hope so. I feel uneasy in this bunker. Well, okay. I'll go to sleep then. Well, we're not going to talk about Lord of the Rings? Wow. Good wow. night and sweet dreams, Thomas. My favorite character is Aragorn. On this behind the world's ahead. Oh, I should have asked her about uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy and The Hobbit. On this behind the world's ahead. Mists and shadows. Hide and seek. I thought that was a cat. Of course I sleep with Lucas. Hopefully we wake up and he's been eaten. Alright, so we learned that these microbes multiply very, very quickly in the dark. Whoa, whoa. 
having a nightmare? What's going on? The heater's off. Take your flashlight, dum dum. No, I guess not. Whoa. Oh my. What happened? A little dark in here. What happened to the light? Probably the wiring is damp. I'll ask Victor to check. Bro, why don't we grab our flashlight? Oh, that is irritating. Bro, bro, bro. No, you can't put those there and not let us use it. You're just gonna piss me off. Are we gonna find Victor? Victor? Oh! Oh, it's so dark! Victor? Where the hell are you? What are you doing? I'm faffing about. You in here? Oh, he closed the fridge. That's how you know something's wrong. No one here. Alright, Victor's dead. No way he closed that fridge. Look for Maya, I guess. Maya. Something happened. Whoa, what happened here? I'm gonna say she left the microbes in the dark and they got bigger. Really weird how there's keys there. As if you're supposed to take them, but... You don't. Was that the dogs we're hearing? Anything in here? Oh! Total darkness. Okay. Why did I not get the flashlight? It's jammed dark in there. I'm not going there without a flashlight. Finally! I think I saw a flashlight somewhere in the bedroom. Yeah. Saw that a month ago. Get it, you stupid. There you go. Right. What the hell's happening out there? Gunshots? Looks like all the power's gone out. Good thing I have a flashlight. Oh, all the power just went out. All lights are off. Oh, crap. Check on the dogs, they were barking. Oh, the radio. The radio's on? The hell? How's there light there? Zara! Is that? Huh? This is. This bed's uh, station, over. I thought we were Zarya. We have some problems with electricity. Did you hear what we found are dangerous. No. Oh. What we found is dangerous. Zarya, I repeat, the stone that we found. This the remains of Jin at this more than eight thousand. An ancient years civilization has lasted old. more than Thousands of years old or whatever. Zarya, be careful. Find maybe dangerous that stone which we found. It's something ancient. Radiation background can simply colossal. Your sample possibly. Related. Be er, careful. Okay. 
one about radiation and danger. So an ancient organism? What? Ancient... Okay, the dogs are making awful noises. Oh, they're barking over there. What are you barking at, boys? No, they're obviously barking at something in the corner. Everything's fine. Don't be afraid. What is it? Something in here? Okay. I said, don't open it. Dogs are afraid of the dark. I need to bring them a gas lamp. Maybe it'll make them feel safer. There's one next to my bed. Okay. Where is, uh, I wonder where Maya and Victor went. Good question. That's what I was just about to say. Is there no way to turn the power back on? I guess not. Okay, this being open is suspicious. Not too sure how I feel about that. Alright, gas lamp acquired. running over there. All right, dogs, I'm back. A lamp for you. That's it, guys. Don't be afraid. Now you have more light than me. You have food, water, so be a good little dog while I look for Maya and Victor. Oh, that's cute. The light actually calmed them down. And they're all sitting around it. They're obviously barking at something in the duct. Oh. Something over there. No one in the bathroom, right? I heard something over here. Oh. No one here, no. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, is that the organism growing? Oh! What the fuck was that? <laughs> Some sort of giant rat mole. What the hell? Oh, shit. What is this? Looks like some kind of growth. Why was it in here? Oh, my. I need to find the guys as soon as possible. Check the room with the generator. Oh, wait, what? It's all over here, too? Holy. Is it eating the rat? Certainly sounds like it. I can't really tell. Oh. Ooh. Let's check on the dogs. What's happening in the bathroom? Anything? Nothing. Yeah, I think the generator's right there. I gotta check on the dogs. Uh. Oh! Well, this lamp just broke. 
What? Why? Mm. Okay. Maybe the light bulb overheated and darn darn. Doggies, you doing okay? Yeah, they're doing good. I was worried about that giant mole rat thing. I ran towards them. Okay, is this the generator room? I mean, it kind of looks like it. It's not. It must be further back. Wait. This? The generator room. Whoa, blood. What's going on here? Did they finally get Lucas? Oh, thank God. Comes from the couch. Oh, no, it goes. What? Everywhere. Kind of looks like he was sitting down. I don't know. Hmm. I'll just leave that first date right there. I'm sure it's just this flesh wound day. Okay, where is? the generator that's the outside basement There's a whole bunch of blood. Oh, yeah. Now it's clear why the generator turned off. This thing is everywhere. There's some sort of organic growth. Is that breathing? me that little mole rat was there and i guess he killed me oh i had to turn the flashlight on oh he just turned off my flashlight somehow what a sneaky mole rat all right so we can't turn the power on is that There's a light over there. Bugs, you okay? Good. Oh. What's that? Bathroom. Hmm. What's going on here? Oh, the organism had to take a shit? Crouching under its nutsack or something. What are we in here for? Okay, let's clear the growing everywhere at a horrifying rate. I guess it's growing because the lights are off and it multiplies in the dark.
Continue searching for Maya. Where are they at? They're really good at hiding, these guys. This growth is getting worse. We're kind of stuck here, so that's... What's that? Knock, knock? It's everywhere, bro. This is our water. I think I heard a scream. This thing is spreading at an alarming rate. I wonder what it is. And where did my and Victor go? I'm starting to worry. Wow. I need to check the exit from the bunker. Maybe they went outside. Yeah, it's literally everywhere. How did we... How did they die? I think this is the exit. Guys. I mean, leaving's the right idea. Oh, it's all blocked. Can't get out. Doesn't look like the doors are opened. They can't be opened at all. Snow flew in to the cracks through the doors. Okay. So. Oh. Gulp. What was the shining red light? Oh yeah, let's follow that. As you do. It's so dark in here. I'm ready to die. Was he talking about the dogs? Oh, what the hell? What hit me? Open. What the? Is something biting me? What the hell is happening to me? Something bit me underwater. Yeah, it was biting me. A little mole rat, probably. Wow, it's everywhere. Fuck, these growths are already everywhere. Why are they barking again? I need to check if everything's okay. Not the dogs. Not the dogs. Who cares about Lucas? Diane, she's... Huh? Turn off my flashlight again. No, not the dogs. Oh geez, I'm coming. Oh no, oh no. No, leave them. Shit, no. Oh, that is tragic. Oh, the poor dog. This thing sucked him in and ate him? Wow. Can we burn this place down yet? I can still hear it chewing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are such sweet dogs, too. Yeah, we gotta burn this place. Burn it all down. What do we do?
Scooby-Doo. They drag the dogs into the ventilation. They try to contact Zvezda Station. Yo, yeah, Zvezda shit's hitting the fan here. The dogs got killed. Maybe. Lucas. Uh, who cares about Lucas? And there's still a bunch of growth everywhere. We're going full Akira up in this bitch. Zvezda, please answer. Zvezda, answer me. Wow. Maybe they're dead too. Need to get out of here. Thing is already everywhere, spreading quickly. But what did the dogs? I'm over it. Really? You're not gonna get revenge? Oh god! Jesus Christ! The the dog, the mole rat is getting bigger. Now the way this is spreading is ridiculous. You gotta burn Akira down. What was that? What was that? Oh, that doesn't sound good. Go, go, go. Shut the door? Yeah. Oh. Oh, in the vent. Is it the mole or is it the dog? What if it's the dog? We gotta help him. Oh, I hope I, I want to see Lucas's dead body before we die. I need the satisfaction. Oh, oh yeah, eat Lucas. Eat him. We don't go downstairs again, do we? Get out of the bunker. We gotta get out of here. The weapon, huh? I'm assuming I'm wearing a jacket. I don't know. I need to clear away the snow. I can't do it with bare hands. Seems there was a shovel in the bunker somewhere. Somewhere near Maya's lab. Now, if I worked here, I would leave the shovel by the front door. Oh, I hear the breathing. What is that? Lucas? Wow. Someone's bones breaking? What the f- Oh. Where do we get the shovel, bro? I can't even get to Maya. Our whole office is blocked. Unless it's right here somewhere. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh. What was that? Oh. Okay, that was something out of like Warhammer 40k or something like a Tyranid. I think I hear the dogs. Are they alive? That doesn't sound like. Oh, it does. The dogs are barking. <laughs> Is it mimicking the dogs? Oh, I think it was. Was that my flashlight? Okay, I think I think I died. Oh, it was pretending to be the dogs. Okay, it can mimic the sounds of whatever it eats. Oh, don't trust the dogs.
This storm doesn't seem to subside. We tried to contact Zvezda station on the radio, but when we left the base, we closed all the doors except for the recreation room on the first floor. The key must be there. On the first floor? Does that mean... Go upstairs? Are these signal lights? Who put those there? Where's the door? Oh. Oh, it's okay, I gotta get the key. Find the keys station in the recreation room on the first floor. Where's the entrance? Door is closed. Another door on the other side. Oh, that's not our door. And who put these? We got snowmobiles. Oh God! Blood. Lots of it. Doors in the bunker. They're open. Have the guys been gotten out of there? Oh. Hearing gunshots. Jeez, okay. I guess the keys are that shining thing over there. the keys. Hey, oh. can you hear me? Please, someone answer. Please, somebody. You, Victor. Oh, I'm so glad you're alive, man. Uh, something took the dogs. Thomas, is that you? Yeah. God, I'm so glad to hear you. Yeah, Listen, you too. I need help. What happened? Where are you? I'm in the hangar. I went to get fuel for the snowmobiles. I got pinned here. I, I think I'm bleeding. All right, don't move. Okay, I'll be there in several Please days. Hurry. Maybe. If I feel like it. So he wants me to go to the hangar. There's a hangar over there. What the? Someone's knocking on the door. Go to the hangar or go to the door. Oh, this is the same piece of ice that we brought with us to the base. This thing? Check the door first, I guess. Is this a bait? Who's there? Victor, please let me out. Victor, open up. What's gotten into you? I'm not Victor. What happened? Thomas? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Why are you locked up? It was Victor. He began to behave strangely, he tried to attack me. I screamed, hoping to wake you up. He blocked my path to you, and I got out of the bunker through another exit. What do you mean? Did he attack you? Yes, he chased me all over the bunker, but I was able to get out, and he ran after me. When I ran outside, he caught up with me and locked me here in the lab. What the fuck? Or what? Why? I don't know. Please, let me out of here. Are the other doors also closed? How can I get you out? Yes, he closed all the doors in the laboratory. I don't know. Maybe there are spare keys to the lab in the break room. 
Maybe I'll uh, look. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. But hurry up. He can come back at any moment. Alright, don't be afraid. I'll be back. I feel like one of them is a mimic. Go to the hangar and help Victor. What the hell's going on here? Maya seems to be safe. I need to help Victor. He should have the keys to the laboratory. At the same time, I'll ask him about the situation. Uh, how long do I have to wait for you, Thomas? I think I'm getting worse. I'm on my way. Listen, I met Maya locked in the laboratory, and I'm very interested in what happened to you two. You said you chased her and locked her in the lab. What the hell, man? I don't trust her. It wasn't like that. She attacked me and tried to either bite me or scratch me. It was I who ran away from her and ran into the cold, just to escape. I lured her into the laboratory at the base and locked her there. I wanted to refill the snowmobiles before waking her up, but... Stop. Hmm, okay, I'll be there soon. Well, she would have been exposed to it before him. Maybe she is a mimic. Mimic in the laboratory. Are you stuck? I hope everything's okay with Victor. I guess we gotta determine who's real and who's fake. Wow, bro. It's like one box on you. Finally. I always knew you were such a bitch. Fuck, Victor. That's a lot of blood. What happened? Ah, you sure know how to calm me down. I don't know. I just went to get fuel to start at least one of the snowmobiles, and suddenly all these boxes fell on my feet. Ah, why are these so heavy? Yeah, I don't know. We were never told what they were storing in that hangar. Okay, what happened with you and Maya? Do you really want to fucking talk about this right now? I'm bleeding, man. Help me, please. Hmm. Not answering the question. How do I do this? The box looks heavy. I think I saw a pry bar in the hangar here. Like a long metal piece. Ah, bring it. Maybe this way you can lift the box and I'll try to get out. All right. Hurry. I can't feel my legs anymore. I don't care. What's making all that racket? Well, probably the, the storm, I guess. All right, crowbar somewhere, huh? All on this side. What the? What's happening? Oh, the door shut. Oh, 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 oh. Are we alone here? Please kill Victor. Oh no! Oh, I'm coming fast as I can. Whoa, you really got him. No way, Victor! Oh, I'm so sad. I need to find the keys. Get my uh, the hell out of here. And you got destroyed. Ha! <laughs> Search his legs. You don't need the keys anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we make it out? Oh, the click, click, clack, clack. I'll do you one better. How do we get out of here? Why are you clicking? Oh. Oh, what the hell? Ah. Jesus. Echolocation or something? Oh, my. A 
Open the door. We need to free Maya as quickly as possible. I think Maya's a goner. Maya's light is on and it's very bright. She can attract this thing. Oh, she's, she's already done. Turn off the light, Maya! Turn off the light! Oh, fuck! What the fuck is that? Oh! Do I... Stay the fuck with me. Ah! Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Did it grab me? Oh, what? Oh, I got her. Maya! Maya! Where are you, Maya? Oh, fuck! Oh! What's hurting me? Excuse me? Can I come in? Holy... Where'd you, what just happened? That was... Did it go up here? I don't know. I got pushed out or something. Fuck, this thing is here. I need to quickly contact guys from this vest station and ask for help. How do we do that? There's a radio tower right there. Over the first floor, right? Go to the radio room on the second floor. This. Is this not the second floor? Oh no, it's the third, third floor. Well, my friends are dead. How did it evolve into that, like, crab walking thing? There's a red room. This is a large antenna on the roof of the building, so the signal should be better. Am I hearing something? I am. Who's crying in here? Oh, yeah? Jesus Christ. How'd you get out? Honey devoured you. How did you? I managed to escape just as he broke through the roof. What is this creature? Don't trust her. Don't trust her. Luke is whispering from the grave. I have... I have no idea, but I saw something strange in the bunker. At first I saw something that looked like a worm. Then I noticed that in the room from which he ran out of some growth appeared. It seemed organic. Growths? Yeah. Then I decided to look for you and notice these growths in other rooms too. And then the dogs. What about the dogs? They're dead. Probably something dragged them into a butthole type thing. Oh my god. Like re they got reverse shitted. Yeah, what is this? What exactly is going on? When you and Victor fell asleep, I couldn't because of Victor's snoring. So I decided to go and do a couple more tests. It haunted me that these organisms, after so many years, were so active. Hmm. I started watching them again. Then I decided to go have a cup of tea. And when I returned, I saw a broken test tube on the floor. Apparently, I accidentally touched it and dropped it while getting up from the table. And you didn't hear it break? What? I didn't do it on purpose. Anything can happen. Anyway, we have a whole block of ice with these samples. 
Well, I just took a rag and wiped the floor, then took the bucket of water and rag to the toilet. After that, I went to lie down on the sofa in the living room. Wow, and you took a mean shit as well. That's why it looks like poo. It morphed with your poo. What happened? Why did Victor attack you and chase after you? When I woke up, I went to the toilet. Oh, there and it Victor is. Victor was there. He just stood there, looking in the mirror. You know, like a zombie. And next to him, I saw an overturned bucket with a rag, and it seemed to me that the rag was covered in some kind of slime. What the heck? So I asked Victor, but he didn't answer. When I came closer, I saw his empty gaze. He turned to me, but it was like he was looking through me, you know? And what? He reached out to me and grabbed my hand. I started screaming and struggled to escape. I tried to run away from him towards you and wake you up, but he blocked my path. And then I remembered that in that part of the bunker, there was a way out. I was so scared, I just ran away. Please forgive me, Thomas. Hmm. What about all this blood I've seen on the floor? Hmm. No, it's not okay. Victor ran after me, caught up with me at the base, and locked me inside the laboratory. It felt like something was controlling him. It was as if something was giving him instructions. Weird. That's for sure. Then he left, as if he heard a call. He walked toward the hangar. And after about 15 minutes, you came. We need to find him. Together, we can handle him. Tie him up? Call for help? No, we can't. What do you mean we can't do it? His hands are gone. What? How? What the hell? This thing killed him. I tried to help, but I couldn't. Damn. I didn't actually what try. What the hell have we gotten ourselves into, Thomas? I don't know, Maya. And to be completely honest, I don't even know. I don't even want to know. All I want is to get us out of here. So let's get out of here. What's the plan? We need to try to contact Zvezda Station. The antennas here are much more powerful, so we can easily contact them. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. What about this creature? The two of us definitely can't handle it. Let's not act like heroes. We'll just call for help and then we'll tell them what happened here and let them decide what to do. Okay. That sounds reasonable. There's no electricity, but we can try to power the radio from batteries. So I'll go to the hangar to get them. You stay here. If anything happens to me... Hey, nothing will happen to you, okay? Hmm. Alright. Barricade all the doors. Don't turn on the light. Looks like the light attracts him. Huh? I thought light was their, like, enemy. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I thought we learned that the light makes them stop. Well, I'm kind of surprised that my flashlight doesn't do that. But all right. Yay, back outside. Is it out here? These snowmobiles are placed in an interesting pattern. Ah. Hey, be careful. This creature is somewhere nearby. Run, run, run. Gary. Oh, it's all growth in here now. Oh, lovely. And to think, this is all from Diana's poop. Jeez. I don't know why there's some of it is like this and some of it is like a creature. Weird. So far, so good. Battery acquired. Yay! Anything over here? Now I need to take these batteries to the radio room and plug the radio into them and we can finally call for help. You left me, Thomas. That's true, I did. 
You're annoying. Okay. It's scattered boxes. I need to find another way. Maybe there's a pasture somewhere between the boxes. Oh, let's come back the way I came, right? You left me, Thomas. It's funny, is that like my guilt con conscience? That was easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, back up. Can you come in? Can I outrun you? Hi! How can I get away from it? Escaped. Maya, I found the batteries. Now I'll connect them and we'll, and we'll... Wait, what? You leave me a fucking note? What is this? Thomas, there are samples left in the laboratory on the third floor that we examined. We must take them with us so that we can study them properly in more suitable conditions. <laughs> I know you're mad right now, but what kind of scientist would we be if we didn't take these samples with us and study them properly? We must understand what it is. We have to. B.S. Contact the guys from Zvezda and call for help. I'll be there soon. All right. Fuck my you stupid rich. You get rid of this crap. Not take the samples. Because of her. Because of her? Mean. Zarya Station. Answer. Vesta, can you hear me? This is Zarya. Thomas, is that you? What the hell's going on over there? Maya said that you and Victor died. And now I hear your voice loud and clear. What the fuck? Wow, that's... Uh, they got Hank Hill on the other side there. What in the hell's going on? Maya said that you and Victor died. Now I can hear your voice. God dang it, Bobby. Loud and clear. What the heck? What? What did she say? Oh no, why did she say that? When? Uh, about an hour ago, Maya contacted us. She was crying. She said that Victor went crazy and attacked you and her. She said he fucking killed you. Then after about 15 minutes, we heard a one-way transmission. That was you that told us what happened with the dogs and some gross that filled the bunker. We tried to answer you, but you didn't hear us. After that, we tried again to contact Maya, but she didn't answer us either. Wait, what? About an hour ago, Maya contacted us. She cried. She said that Victor went crazy and attacked you and her. She, she said he killed you. 
then 15 minutes we hear a one-way transmission about you. so you know she didn't kill me so either she's being mimicked or she's lying damn Zvezda that's some real fucked up going on here there's some real fucked up here going on here it looks like that it looks like there was something in those ice samples we found Maya said it was some kind of ancient microorganism I don't know how but he evolved very quickly now this is no longer a microorganism but a full-fledged monster running around our base and it killed Victor that sounds crazy Thomas seriously are you trying to make jokes there this is not a joke it's fucking tore Victor to pieces drag the dogs into the hooking ventilator the whole bunker is overgrown with some kind of organic matter and I have no idea what the hell it is please just get us out of here please I repeat this is not a joke Okay, everything will be fine, Thomas. Calm down. Did you say us? Wow, it says calm down. Oh my god, Bobby. So what if your friends have been ripped to shreds and the entire base is turned upside down with this organic poo everywhere? Just, just calm down. No fucking way can I calm down. Yes, me and Maya. She's waiting for me in the laboratory upstairs. So Maya is alive? Yeah. Here I here I am, Maya and this terrible monster. Wait, Maya is the monster? Okay, calm down, Thomas. Stay Maybe? safe. We're already getting ready. We'll be there in about a half an hour. Uh, he always he always says calm down. In what fucking sense? Within half an hour? It takes about ten minutes to fly here by helicopter. I know you're on edge, but have you seen this weather? The helicopter will blow away on takeoff. Hmm, exactly. Fucking storm, sorry, there's so much going on here. It doesn't seem like a problem. Oh, there's so much going on here that this storm doesn't seem like a problem. I understand, Thomas. Listen, we'll be there soon. Most importantly, stay in a safe place. You understand? I understand, Zvezda. Waiting for you. Please hurry up. I don't know how long we can hide from this creature. Over. Okay, Maya's gonna come. He said that Maya radioed him and said that Victor killed me. That's not true. Why did she lie? He is a liar. Oh, oh. And upstairs? Oh, she's making a racket upstairs. You can go upstairs and check if okay. Do we, though? Do we? I don't trust her. You guys trust her? I don't trust her. I can't get there from this side. Oh, there's the door. Wow, it's locked. I have to go the other way. Dang it, mom. Stop it. What was that? What is happening? Stupid bitch. Maya, no! Fuck! What, just pulls you in? Why'd you come here alone? Why did you take these samples? I told you to stay away from me! Maya! We could have had beautiful babies. Oh, God. Oh, well, I guess she was real. I thought she was a mimic. That was weird. 
no fuck way. I won't wait here for my death. I need to get out on my own. The, the dogs? Check on the fuel snowmobiles. Find the key somewhere. Maybe Victor had them? Oh, the key, it's not the real dogs. Not, not the real dogs. The dogs are gone. Oh, you really want to check on them, don't you? There's no way. No. Can't be. What if it is? Doggies? Doggies? Is that the dogs? Are they alive? Are you... There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. I'm coming, doggies. The dogs move location? Huh? Oh, such a bait. Come here, buddy. Where are you leading me? There's no fuel in any snowbills. Or the hangar. Am I going crazy? It's leading me to the hangar, but I have to go here anyway. Oh! Wow, that worm thing's getting bigger and bigger. Weird. Why didn't you help me? <laughs> Why didn't you help me? Because you're a bitch. I like how you hear that, though. He's like, our character's losing his mind. And feeling guilty. My God, poor Victor. What are we hearing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Victor, give me. <laughs> Automobile keys and fuel acquired. Careful. Sounds like it's always above me. Rick oh. Thomas. Oh shit. Okay. Can't hurt me, I don't know. This thing doesn't make any sense. Okay, the monster's out here. I don't know what's happening in there. Rod. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Come on, Bill. Oh, God. Get going. Take 
take a little longer, why don't you? Yeah, have a, have a look around first. Have a look at my flashlight. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Hello. Whoop. Just get going, man. scratched oh did it infect me i don't care about that did you listen to what i said this damn thing killed maya victor and all the dogs we need to fucking burn everything that was on the base so this monster doesn't get out even though i clearly saw it running after me you do realize that we did ask you about what happened right it's our job yeah sure sorry so much has happened and thanks for getting me out of there no problem mr mcready okay we'll continue later Mr. McCready? I think that's one of the names from the movie The Thing. Mr. McCready. That might have been the main character's name. I'm Mr. McCready. Thomas McCready, maybe? Oh. Uh. Alright, see so ya. Yeah. This is weird. Ah, uh, my head. What? I'm in the hospital? What? So I wasn't being interviewed? Huh? Ah? Nani? What are they washing me for? Oh, Oh, they're thinking how do you feel thomas they think i'm gonna change into it what do i feel i'm okay just a little headache thanks for asking camera who are you where am i don't worry. Everything is fine. You better get some rest. Uh, Ow. What the heck? Get some rest. What's happened to me? Can I leave? Oh fuck, what is this? Lie down on the bed and get some rest. I'll we'll be over soon. Are, are they watching me morph into it? I'm dead on the floor there. Did something come out of me? Oh, that little worm Thomas, came out? Are you okay? Bro, you can literally see me on the ground in my pool of my own blood. Is it eating me? What is this? I'm expecting a little worm.
Uh, is he okay, guys? It was the worm. That had to be the least surprising thing I could possibly imagine. <laughs> Good or bad, this is the end. Thanks for playing. That was weird how they're just watching as I'm like clearly dead. Amos, you don't look so good. You feeling okay, bro? <laughs> Fuck. Okay. It seemed like they wanted that to happen to me, but why? That didn't look like the most secure place in the world, but okay. Some sort of government agents. Wanting to research it, I guess. Must be Umbrella Corporation. You guys enjoyed the ride and like i said if you haven't seen the movie the thing make sure you go watch it and let me know in the comments what you thought and we'll see you in the next video as always thanks for watching